Hello, this is Don Shank with Red Hat Developer, and I'm talking today about the OpenShift sandbox that Red Hat Developer offers to you. This is a free, this is free access to an OpenShift cluster that we run. You, along with thousands of other users, can have access to it. In a previous video, I talked about what the sandbox is, the limitations, the pluses and minuses. I suggest you check that one out. But today I want to talk about what we call sandbox, sandbox activities. These are scripts that we have created that you can follow along and build trial software on your sandbox. Uh, please note that these activities are available now and the list of activities continues to grow all the time. So I'm going to go here at the sandbox page and click on build on the sandbox. And that takes me over to the start page where I see this tab for use case activities. So let's take a look at some of the activities that we have available. We have learn Kubernetes at the top because remember that the sandbox is OpenShift, but it runs on Kubernetes. So we want to make available to you to make sure that if you just want to learn Kubernetes and don't want to mess with OpenShift, that opportunity is right there front and center. We have a nice little application here that uses natural language processing and Jupyter Notebooks, if you're familiar with Python and those, and TensorFlow, which is Google's uh, machine learning and AI uh, plug-in. That's a great activity to get started in that. We have some stuff about API management, which everybody is interested in nowadays. The full stack JavaScript application is really cool because it's in three parts and it takes you from just building a simple JavaScript application front end all the way through to eventually where you have a database running inside your OpenShift cluster. Here's one how to use Kafka. We have we offer a managed Kafka instance for you for free. Um, it runs for 48 hours. You can create the instance and then you can attach to it and use it inside of your cluster. Deploy a job application in minutes. I have another video that's on one of our pages where it takes one minute to deploy this application. And then the sample application, which I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna show you something here. So here's how you use an OpenShift activity. You basically, uh, here's a pro tip, uh, open it, open two instances of it, okay? Because you want to, one, you're going to follow. And the other one, when you, when every time you click a link, it pops you out of it. And then if, if you end up popping around, you might get lost. So it's always good to have one to go back to to start from, so to speak. But you basically will go through and it will tell you step by step what you need to do. There's a there's figures, there's, there are commands that you can copy and paste, and it just basically instructs you what to do. So you'll follow those tips. Uh, if you get stuck, we have an email address, devsandbox at redhat.com. That will be in, at the top of every activity. It's not right now. That is a work in progress. By the time this video goes live, it'll be there. Uh, this is one of the things that to be honest with you, doing these videos has made us think about some of the things, and this is something we're going to retrofit. So thank you for watching this video and unknowingly causing us to improve this. What languages do we have? We try to cover as many as we can that are popular. As you can see here, we have a list. I'll highlight it. We have C Sharp, Go, Java, Node, JS, Python, Ruby, and PHP. I'd like to get some Rust activities in there as well. Not every activity covers every language, so we kind of have to pick and choose where we want to do what language. But if you find an activity that's in, say, Java, and you're a Go developer, please reach out to us and ask, and that will give us the impetus to go ahead and create a Go version. Um, it's not really hard to do because what we're dealing with here are microservices. And because they're small, you can develop them pretty quickly. Let me show you an example of an upcoming um, activity that I'm finishing up today, as a matter of fact. This activity is for the C-sharp community. H again, I will be more than happy to take feedback to write it in another language. So here's what it is. It, it doesn't look like a lot to you, but let me show you. It's got eight parts. It has two databases. One is an event store and one is a SQL, uh, SQL database. It uses Kafka. It has three microservices. It has an OpenShift job, and it has a web front end. 
So this gives you an example of some of the depth and breadth that you can get from our activities. Eight different things to learn and to uh, experiment with. And in the end, you, in this case, you have a website and a back end that runs everything. Um, in the future, we have activities that are going to be based on technologies such as how to do a blue-green deployment, how to do a canary deployment, how to do rolling updates in Kubernetes, how to implement the uh, a circuit breaker pattern, and so on and so forth. Those are the things that we're interested in presenting to you. Again, if you give us feedback, we will definitely listen to what you want to see and what languages you wish to see implemented. So that's basically an overview of our activities. I highly recommend you get into them. They're continuing to come out. We're putting them out as fast as we can. We're open to suggestions. So right now, get over to developer.redhat.com, get your sandbox and get started. Thank you.